Hi everybody, welcome back to Ubiquitous Skating. Uh, so today's Wednesday, uh, I've got a day off, so I've decided I was gonna go skate. Um, and I'm gonna make a trick tip about switch stance. It's uh, one of my favorite tricks, and I've been asked about a few people actually to have a trick tip about switch stance, because uh, it's a little bit harder than most top side tricks. So I'm gonna do the best I can to give advice about that trick. Um, I'm gonna go to Hackney, um, trash park and hacking the DIY because um, it's uh, the weather's not looking great right now. It's like slightly uh, drizzling, but it's not crazy. But the skate park's under cover, so and also he's got um, a P rail in the ledge, which uh, I need for the trick tip. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go there right now. Beam me up, Scotty. So I made it. I'm in trash park in Hackney. Um, I love this place. It's nice and empty. There's no one around, so. There's a lot of new spots uh, I got built since the last time I were here about a year ago, uh, maybe more actually. So I'm gonna warm up and then let's get started with a trick tip. Yeah. So I found that um, a lot of people are afraid of doing sweaties uh, because they say that if you miss it, you're gonna hurt yourself. But I'm like, yeah, of course, but you can you know, miss any trick and hurt yourself. Like a top sole, like a top acid, like a real, even like a soul grind. So um, me personally, I've got like a safe way a safe way of doing sweaties, um, which is like my body's quite open, so I'm ready to like bail and like to like turn and maybe like take it to my shoulder to fall to the ground. Um, and yeah, that's that's how like it became one of my safety tricks, like a long time ago. So we're gonna learn about that. So the safest way that um, I found to learn um, doing sweaties, learning sweaties on a P rail, um, is to do front sides on a P rail. It also does help if you know how to do mizus because it's kind of the same trick just on the other side and it's not top sides obviously, but um, uh, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna warm up and do front sides and then that's how you learn how to put your feet in the right position in order to do the sway. So obviously you don't have to do the whole rail like that. You can just do it on like, you know, the last part and then um, just you know be comfortable with it just do it do it over and again it's all about repetition so the way you do that front side if you spin the way you spin your hips is going to help you memorize the way your body turns of a sweaty um, if you want you can do it on the front five if you feel more comfortable doing it um, on the front five um, but front side and front five they work anyway so if you do that your body's going to remember like the way to turn and then to turn your hips um, if you learn how to do fakie out as well it's going to help a bit more also, there's a safer way of like learning how to jump on it. If you're too scared of like putting your front foot in a top side position. So you put, you jump and you put both feet on either side of the rail. Okay, when you feel comfortable, you've done your front sides or your front fives. You've done your uh, jumps with the two uh, feet on the side you can start uh, trying to lock it. Uh, you don't have to go fast. You can even like, just do it like full stop, like not even grinding, just like learning how to lock um, a standstill. Um, you can try that, it does help. Um, and what's good about this way is that if you don't uh, grind as you're doing it, like, you know, just standing up, um, you're not gonna slide, so you're not gonna like hurt yourself. Well, you're less likely to hurt yourself. And you can start grinding if you if you feel comfortable on the P rail. Um, so what I found easier as well is to turn the way 180 degrees this way. Um, it does help, and it gets you balanced as well. So you noticed as I was on the grind, my hips were already like turned about 100, 120 degrees uh, because it helped with the balance. And just in case I missed it. I wouldn't have been able to like get to my shoulder and tuck and roll or just like, you know, bail in a safe way. So once you get comfortable at doing sweaters on the P-Rail, just repetition and repetition, um, just keep going, try and like get as uh, far as you can, try and get them as clean as you can, trying to get the 180. If you want, you can try and get the 180 the other way. Um, so it kind of helps as well um, to do different tricks and to get into a different body position, just in case you want to learn switch ups uh, after that trick or other tricks. 
So we're gonna learn how to do the sweaty on ledges now. I found this little ledge. It's quite low, but it's okay. Um, kind of like it like that, because I think it's the same height as the P rail. So it's good to learn on. Sweaties on ledges, it's all about your foot position. So your top side foot, you have to bend your ankle like a lot. Um, and also you have to remember to turn the hips and go out fakie if you're on. And also it's easier if your body is in an open position. Just have your core and your body open like that as you're doing the sway like this and then get ready to like turn your hips and then fakie out. It does help. Um, there's a few ways to tackle the sweaty if you don't feel comfortable doing it on the ledge yet. I'm gonna show you what they are. So you jump on the ledge in a sweaty position but you don't bend your ankle so you're not doing the top side. You basically just want to roll with your front foot um, so it helps you um, get your muscle memory about like you know the feet position and your body position and the movements that you have to do maybe it's going to feel a bit weird to bend your ankle um, in the top side position because you're not used to doing tricks like that but your ankle will get used to it and your muscle memory is going to kick in and then uh, it's just going to feel comfortable and uh, you're going to like it and remember turn your hips it does help if you stay forward too much um, it's going to be a bit more difficult for you to uh, get your position right and also you got to jump on it properly like you don't want to be like leaning over it too much or not enough on it um, you've got to be perfectly on it um, almost a parallel um, as you approach if you can you can come a little bit sideways it does help as well so try not to do this nor this And then you can start doing sweaties. You can go really slowly on the ledge is fine. Cause um, if you miss and like you can catch yourself on the surface, don't overshoot it or undershoot it. Um, unless you know how to like catch yourself and how to fall properly, which is fine. Um, but go slowly first. And then as you learn, repeat it and repeat it and go faster, get more comfortable. Try and get out fakey the other way. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some tricks that you can do um, when you learn the sweaty, such as half cab, switch ups and stuff like that. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy them. So that was it. I hope uh, you learned some stuff. Um, remember when you're doing this way, it's all about feet position, hips, and um, fake out does help. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tune in soon for some more. Just skate.